how do moon work in Vedic astrology? What does moon signify in Vedic astrology? And what we should analyze from moon, how we can remedy the moon is what we are going to learn in today's video. So moon, first of all, moon indicates mind. It is also told us that Chandrama Manasu Jata. So moon in the horoscope should be analyzed for mind. If the moon is weak, the mind of the native is weak. Whereas if the moon is powerful, the mind and morals of the native is powerful. I have noticed that if a negative Mars is influencing the moon, then in that particular scenario, one can be not interested in doing things. One can be ignorant of the responsibilities because of which they generally, you know, like to sit idle. They are lazy because of which they suffer and lose many opportunities in life also. In fact, the greatest yoga in Vedic astrology is that either all the planets are influencing the moon or all the planets influencing moon are very powerful. In both of these cases, one of the greatest Raj Yoga is made and the person is very successful. But, but why it is so? Because moon is mind. When all the planets are influencing moon, it indicates that one is able to take care of all the responsibilities well. And when all the powerful planets are influencing moon or when all the planets influencing moon are very powerful, then it indicates that whatever thing the person focuses on, whatever thing the person decides to work on, that is generally very successful. Keeping this in mind, it creates one of the greatest Raj Yogas. In fact, mental problems, mental troubles should also be seen with respect to moon. And if the moon is afflicted by malefics, it does indicate that the mentality of the problem, mentality of the native can be in a problem. And the person can suffer mental tension, depression, and all of these things. Right? Mental health is very important. And to analyze that mental health, a proper analysis of moon is very important. A weak moon, because it indicates mind, also indicates that one will be easily disappointed. Whereas on the other hand, a powerful moon will indicate that one will have high enthusiasm regarding things. And it will be very difficult that these people are rarely unsuccessful because they have high morals. They generally keep on trying until and unless they become successful. And this is very good also. Now this manas is not only mind. Manas in a loose translation can also be understood as psyche. For example, say in Bhagavad Gita, it is told that the Atma will leave the body like one changes clothes. But whatever situation, circumstances, whatever will be your reaction to the situations and circumstances in this life, that is also decided by your samskaras, right? The samskaras from the previous life, sanskar from the previous life. Now, who indicated this sanskar of previous life? Manas is indicating that sanskar of previous life. Moon indicates the sanskar of previous life. So based on the planets influencing moon, as per the Rashi of the moon, one should know how one will deal with different situations in life. Why we are suffering? If the sanskar is bad, one will react with reality in a bad manner, which will create further problems. For example, if Mars is influencing moon, then one deals with every, one deals, tackles everything with anger. If Saturn is influencing moon, then one tackles everything with sadness, grief, misery, right? These are because of samskaras and as per the interaction of the person with different things, the future course of the karma is also decided. So for karmic analysis also, an analysis of moon is very important. Generally in a horoscope where the moon is under strong benefic influences, you will see that these people are karmically very correct. These people make good karmic decisions in life because of which after the age of 30, 35, they generally enjoy their life. Moon is also a king. That means if moon is powerful, one will be kingly and authoritative in his life and people will listen to him. People will obey him. People will listen. People will 
want to become like him. These people can be family members. These people can be colleagues. These people can be others in the society. But they will follow you if the moon is present. Most importantly, because moon indicates king, if the moon is connected to 10th house and other factors of profession, it indicates that one is in a ruling position. One can be either a businessman where they rule over multiple people or one can be in a government job as well. When moon is connected to wealth houses in horoscope, second house, 11th house, second lord, 11th lord, it indicates one is kingly in earning money. This will make sure that the native earns highest in his family. Apart from that, moon is also told as Sita Rashmi, someone who is having very cooling and very soothing light. Light, according to me, is seen with respect to the house where the planet is influencing. So whatever house moon is influencing by his seventh aspect, one feels, you know, a lot of breeze. With respect to that particular house, one is almost tension-free, trouble-free in the area signified by that particular house. This is a very good influence of moon. However, if seventh from moon is the seventh house or if seventh from moon is the seventh lord or if seventh from moon is Venus, then in that particular scenario, the life partner or the native in marriage can be cold, disinterested and ignorant also. Right? So this is a bad part of the Sita Rashmi. But apart from that, any other planet which comes in 7th to sun or 7th to moon or any house which is in 7th to moon generally enjoys a very tranquil and calm development. With respect to this house, the native can be tension free also. Moon is also called Sasi and Som. Som means nectar. Right? Nectar as in nectar gives long life. So any planet who is situated in 7th to moon, whatever is signified by that planet, that relative lives long. For example, in the case of day birth, Venus indicates mother. So if Venus is situated in 7th to moon and the person is born in daytime, mother have the result of Soma, mother is long living. If sun is situated in 7th to moon, then sun will indicate or Saturn is situated in 7th to moon in night birth, then father will enjoy long life. Mars is situated in 7th to moon, sibling will enjoy long life. Mercury is situated in 7th to moon, generally relatives will enjoy long life. Jupiter in 7th to moon, children enjoy long life. Venus in 7th to moon, spouse enjoys long life. Saturn in 7th to moon, Generally, servants are long-lived, live with the native, serve the native for a long time. Rahu in 7th to moon, paternal grandparents. Ketu in 7th to moon, maternal grandparents are long-living. Right, so this is very good. But moon is also called Mirgank. And Mirgank means like deer, the head of deer. So deer have two tendencies. First of all, deer with his tusk. He will generally, you know, get entangled into things while running, while grazing and doing different things. So a very strong moon also indicates that one often lands into troubles which are not his own. Generally, these people take a lot of responsibilities of others because of which they suffer also. So if you have a very prominent moon or moon connected to Lagna or Lagna Lord, you will have to make sure to be concerned with your own things only and not get very much interested in what others are doing, what others are saying, etc. Otherwise, you can lose your focus and it can make your life difficult. Apart from that, deer also have a particular tendency that whenever it faces light, it becomes awestruck. This tendency is also there with people with prominent moon or moon connected to ascendant or when moon is in cancer, that you generally become awestruck with new things and because of this, you can lose your focus on things that you are already doing, which can either make you ignorant or unnecessarily delay things. So this is something that you will have to keep in mind and make sure not to do it. Otherwise, if you get enchanted by every new thing, then you will never be able to finish your old work and a lot of responsibilities and unfinished work will pile over you and it will create problems to you. Right? So be very careful about when it comes to complexion, that means if moon is the Lagna Lord connected to Lagna, if moon is the most powerful planet in Shedbal, or if moon is the Navamsha Lagna Lord, or if the moon in Navamsha is situated in Cancer sign itself, 
then it generally gives a white complexion to the native, right? Moon connected to seventh lord will give you a fair complexion spouse. Moon connected to fifth house will give you a fair complexion child. Moon connected to third house will give you a fair complexion sibling. Moon connected to fourth house will give you a fair complexion mother. Moon connected to ninth house, ninth lord will give you a fair complexion father. So when it comes to complexion, moon indicate white complexion. Colors also moon indicate white. So if you want to strengthen moon, wearing more of white color will be beneficial. If you want to donate something for moon, donating white things such as milk, milk products will be good. Donating paper, notebook, which is in white color will also be good. Donating silver, etc. of white color, will, white color will also be beneficial. Donation of white clothes will also be very good. Right? Because moon indicates white color. If you want to purchase a vehicle to activate your moon, make sure that the vehicle is white colored. In the deities, moon indicate Varun, the water god. So giving anything to water, flowing things in water, participating in Murti Visarjan or in Hinduism, we you know put idols in the water after the worship is done. Participating in that is a good remedy for moon. Giving things to water, you know, flowing things in water, giving food to fishes and other watery creatures, clean, cleaning water around, you know, around yourself, donating to governmental drive of cleaning rivers, etc. is a good remedy for moon. And apart from that, worship of Parvati and other forms of Goddess Durga, specifically beneficial forms of Goddess Durga, such as Lakshmi, etc. is also a very good remedy for moon. In directions, moon indicates northwest direction. So if you want to strengthen moon, if you have a powerful moon in your horoscope, you should do things while facing in northwest direction. Right, think while facing to northwest direction and all of these things. If you want to remedy moon northwest direction of your home, you should keep clean. And because moon indicates water, keeping water bodies in northwest direction of your home will also be very beneficial. If the moon is somehow connected to seventh house and it is making a positive connection, then going to the southwest direction in search of the life partner or going in southwest direction from your place of residence in date, in date with your life partner or to be like or, or with the person you want to have a relationship with will be very beneficial for you. If the moon is connected to 10th house or if moon is indicating success and gains then traveling to northwest direction having your office in northwest direction from your home will be very very beneficial right. So this signification should be used for your advantage right that will be very great. Now, regarding the nature of moon, moon is generally considered a malefic when it is in the Rashi of sun, second Rashi to sun, twelfth Rashi to sun, moon is considered malefic. In simple word, from Krishna, Ash from Krishna Ashtami up to Shukla Panjami, moon is considered a malefic. In which particular scenario, whichever house moon is expecting or influencing, he will give malefic result to that house. He works as a malefic planet and he afflicts the houses and planets he is situated in and he is expecting. Apart from that, moon in the 4th, 5th, 6th, 7th, 8th, 9th, 10th house from sun or moon between Shukul Panjami up to Krishna Ashtami is a beneficial moon and a beneficial moon in horoscope will work like a beneficial moon. Right? In gender, moon generally indicates young female. So when moon is connected to fifth house, it will generally indicate more female children. When moon is connected to third house, it will indicate more female siblings. And if moon is connected to seventh house because it indicates young female, it will indicate that the person will get married to young partner, right? The partner will be younger than the native in age. It will also indicate that native can get married early. What I have seen that people in astrology generally know the combinations for having delayed marriage such as Saturn influencing the 7th house or Venus but they don't know combinations for getting married early. This is the combination. Moon connected to 7th house, 7th lord generally indicates getting married early but this moon have to be powerful. If the moon is weak then moon is not able to produce result in that particular scenario. Keeping in mind the connection of moon with the 7th house, 7th lord if you say one will get married early it will be wrong. Right, so keep that in mind and use the significations with proper judgment. In caste, moon indicate vaish or trader or businessman. So when moon is connected to the profession houses or houses of gains, houses of wealth, it generally indicates gain of wealth. 
from business when it is connected to the house so profession it generally indicates a businessman apart from that these gender sorry these castes are also useful in predicting about mundane events whenever moon is afflicted in transit or whenever the rashi of moon cancer is having malefic planets or is aspected by malefic planets in the transit that time is not good for business that time is not good for businessmen so if you are a businessman you should keep in mind the transit of moon whenever moon is transiting in bad houses whenever moon is influenced by bad planets in transit at that point of time on these days try to reduce or halt your commercial activities when malefic planets are situated when malefic planets are transiting through the rashi of moon when malefic when malefic planets are influencing the rashi of moon cancer then at that point of time also you should be very careful in how you practice your profession and you should be very careful in your business dealings while traveling and all of these things if you are a businessman you should be careful to avoid any mishappenings and all of these things so the cast of the planet is also used in this sense that when the planet is afflicted the cast or people belonging to the cast people doing the things related to the cast signified by the planet also suffer so you will have to keep this particular thing in mind also in nature behavior and character moon is of sattva quality moon is having sattva as a quality so being devoted to gods and brahmins spending money in worshiping visiting temples right and wanting to do good with people society family members taking your responsibility and doing things only because it is your responsibility to do is signified by moon and generally when moon is powerful the person is satvik also right these tendencies of satvikness is to be is to find the nature of things right for example when a satvik planet is connected to the 7th house the life partner is satvik when a satvik planet is connected to 12th house you generally spend in satvik things satvik things i told you donation to temple donation to priest donation to things related to dharma is a quality of sattva upholding dharma is a quality of sattva that is signified by moon also so moon is powerful one is satvik any house moon is connected to any house lord moon is connected to that relative is also satvik and person have satvik tendencies related to the significations of the house and the planet moon is connected right so this is something that have to be kept in mind now regarding the description of moon if moon is connected to lagna if moon is the most powerful planet in shadbal if moon is connected to navamsh lagna what type of nature be what type of body it gives to the native the same should be used to predict about life partner also if moon is connected to 7th house this will be the description of the life partner if moon is connected to 5th house this will be the description of children when moon is connected to 4th house this will be the description of mother if moon is connected to 9th house this will be the description of father if moon is connected to 3rd house this will be the description of siblings in the case of having more than one siblings having more than one children and all of that you should decide as per the strength of planet the most powerful planet gets activated first the second most powerful planet get gets activated after that so if you have multiple siblings first sibling or the eldest one is signified by the most powerful planet right the younger one is signified by second most powerful planet and so on and so forth right moon is told to have a round and slender body round as in what what we say cute round as in the cheeks the nose and all these areas are round in shape oval in shape the body is slender and moon is having windy and phlegmatic tendencies so because of being windy moon is very instable right and does not generally follow a set routine of doing things because of being problematic later in life these people can be obese also and these people are very enjoyment focused right they have a very clear distinction in these type of things i like doing these type of things i like eating and these type of things i hate right apart from that moon is also very intelligent moon is soft moon have a very gentle voice moon have very lovely beautiful attractive eyes moon have a very auspicious appearance a very good appearance which generally you know pleases people which is pleasing to look at moon is fair complexioned moon have emaciated body and generally moon gets fat not very fat right it moon can maximum become plump it does not become fat at all 
generally have a emaciated body and later on in life you say after the age of 35 40 at maximum it can become plump only right moon is very youthful which means that even if a moon person is old his habits activities and the way of talking is like young people only moon is tall moon generally have curly or short hair women who have short hair are also indicated by moon so if you are having a bad moon and if you are a woman, you should not have short hairs. If you are having a good moon and if you are a woman, you can have short hair also applicable to male as well. To activate moon, you can keep short hair also. Moon is very learned. Moon is very soft. The skin of the moon is soft, soft to touch it, soft in speaking also. Moon satric in disposition, as I already told you, moon is very beautiful and pleasing to look at. Moon is very amicable and very much attached to his friends. He knows how to, you know, keep friendship. Moon is of pure blood. Being of pure blood means the mother and father are generally of the same caste. People belong from high strata of society. Generally, person belongs to a royal class of the society. Belongs from a good, well-to-do family is indicated by moon. Moon is very kind. But in relationships, when moon is connected to seventh house, one is generally fond of old ladies. Moon is also very fickle-minded but very fortunate at the same point of time and Moon generally likes to wear very clean and washed apparels. Moon have rambling tendencies. He is discriminative also. The limbs are firm, though soft to touch, but the limbs are firm. They are not shaky at all. Moon is very lovely. Moon is very sensible. He understands his responsibility because he is sattvic also. I told you sattva is the person is able to uphold their dharma or not. Right. Apart from that, Moon also have a huge body. Right. So he is like he's tall, and as I told you, he's you know he's round. So he have quite a huge body. Right. Moon females have you know like prominent female organs. Right. Moon is young, but when they when the Moon person becomes old, you say after the age of fifty fifty five. The aging is very prominent in their body, right? This, you know, white hair and all of these things become very prominent. Suddenly after the age of 50, 55 and before that, the person looks quite young, younger than their age. Moon generally have black and thin hair, black and thin hair. The size of the body is generally average, not very obese as such. Moon have the power of right thinking. The bodily complexion, the, the bodily strength of the native moon is somewhat weak. So physical fight is not something that moon will engage in. Moon is not very much victorious or superior in physical fight as such. Moon is very learned. He have a round body. Auspicious to look at, very sweet speech he is having, but he is fickle minded and quite lustful also. So moon connected to 7th house and 7th lord makes the person very lusty as well. Right. Moon connected to seventh lord, the life partner is very lusty. Moon is connected to seventh house. You are very lusty. If I have to differentiate, I will generally differentiate that seventh house is your sexuality and seventh lord is the life, life, life partner. This I have told in many of my previous videos also. In bodily parts, moon generally indicates blood. So when moon is afflicted, blood related problems, high BP, low BP, impurity in blood and these things can be there. In the case of woman, a bad connection between moon and Mars, a 6, 8, 2, 12 connection between moon and Mars and or moon being afflicted by Mars generally indicate blood related problems, menstruation related problems, PCOD related problems. To overcome this, one should strengthen moon. Right. Remedies I will tell you regarding moon. If women do remedies related to moon, their menstruation period will generally be good or will be improved as compared to what it is right now. Regarding places, moon generally indicate wells, water and places near river. So how to use it? If you want to donate things related to moon, donating it near a water body is good. If moon is connected to fourth house, generally the home is near water body. If moon is connected to ascendant or ascendant lord, because ascendant also indicate birth conditions, one is generally born near water body. Regarding the Rashi of the 7th Lord, it indicates where you will meet your life partner. Rashi of the 10th Lord will indicate where is your office. So if the 7th Lord is going in the Rashi of Moon, generally one meets their life partner near water body. 
If the tenth lord is in the rashi of moon cancer, then one's office is generally near a water body. Right? So things related to moon should be done near water body. Things related to moon happen near water body. If the moon is weak, then going near water body, spending time near water body, having bath in water body, such as rivers, fountains, etc., is a good remedy for moon. Right? Having water bodies in your home, a small miniature fountains, etc. in your home is a good remedy for moon. And as I told you, moon indicates northwest direction. Having water body in northwest direction, in northwest direction of your home is also a very good remedy. Regarding clothing, as we can wear gemstone for the planet, we can wear more clothes of a planet to strengthen the planet. Importantly, when we are doing remedies, etc. related to the planet, we should wear clothes related to the planet to make the remedy more effective. New clothes recently purchased, white colored clothes and silky clothes are indicated by moon. So whenever you are going to do things related to moon, you should wear clothes related to moon to activate the moon and increase your chances of success. In, gem in metals, moon generally indicates gemstones. So any gemstone you wear, it will activate and pacify moon also. Apart from that, bell metal is also indicated by moon that can be worn to strengthen the moon. Most importantly, when there is health problem because of planets, I believe wearing metal related to planet is a more effective remedy as compared to wearing a gemstone related to the planet. In gemstones, moon indicate pearl, which should be worn for moon. In the months, moon indicate the rainy season that is between 15th of July to 15th of September. Regarding this, I already told you as like as per the D3 occupied by the planets, you can dis you can decide in which month the event will happen. For example, as per the D3 occupied by 7th Lord or Venus, you can decide in which month one will get married. So if the 7th Lord or Venus is situated in Cancer Rashi in D3 in rainy season between 15th July to 15th September, one will get married. Moon aspects of 7th house from its placement, you know that. In time, moon generally indicate moments or two gatikas, which is 48 minutes, but practically I have seen moon indicates a day. So in case of a prashna, if the prashna is positive or negative, whatever, if the event is indicated by moon, then positive or negative, whatever result is indicated, that happens in one day only. It indicates quick manifestation of results. Right? So this is to be used in prashna only in the taste moon generally indicates salty taste in a prashna related to food if moon is connected to second house or fifth house it indicates that one have either eaten a salty food or if it is a prashna related to what type of food i will get it generally indicates salty food you will get if you are doing you know if you are donating food for moon you have to make sure that you donate salty food that will activate moon Apart from that, if moon is connected to second house or fifth house of the horoscope, then one generally likes eating salty food, right? Moon is specifically very friendly to Jupiter, Mercury. Normally friendly to sun also. But moon is very friendly to Mercury, though Mercury is not friendly to moon, but moon is very friendly to Mercury. Moon is friendly to Jupiter also. So generally when a planet is situated with his friendly planet or when the planet is influenced by a friendly planet, then whatever thing is signified by the planet, these things happen without obstruction in the life of the native. Right? So this particular thing is there and moon is specifically very inimical towards sun, Mars, Venus and Saturn. Moon situated with any of these planets or moon connected to any of these planets should be considered as an afflicted moon. Right? So this have to be kept in mind. Moon specifically becomes very powerful in the fourth house. In fourth house, moon becomes Digbali. And when a planet is Digbali, then if you do profession related to that planet, you will become extremely successful. So when the moon is in the fourth house, when you do profession related to moon, counseling, consulting, advising people, guiding people, right, having a business or doing a government job, the person will be generally very successful and very fortunate. Not only this, the planet who is having directional strength, the planet who is Digbali, when you have nature behavior character like that particular planet, then also it is good. So if you have moon in fourth house, then having tendencies related to moon, the power of right thinking and all of these things that I have explained before will make you more fortunate. And as you will imbibe these tendencies in your nature behavior and character, you will see that you are automatically making good decisions, which will be beneficial for you in the long run. Apart from that, when moon when the sun is in the northern passage, when the sun is between Capricorn, Aquarius, Pisces, Aries, Taurus, and Gemini, 
then moon is also powerful moon is also powerful in these rashes specifically when the sun is in these rashes then moon automatically becomes very powerful so this is also that have to be kept in mind if someone is night born then also moon is very very powerful a powerful moon in horoscope can can relieve the affliction of all the planets in horoscope except for the affliction of sun right this is also used for this particular thing. For example, suppose two planets or three planets are bad in horoscope. You say, except for sun, all other planets are bad or afflicted in horoscope. So you will have to do the remedy for planets, but how many remedies you will do at once? So moon, because it takes out the affliction of all the other planets except for sun. If all the planets in horoscope are bad and afflicted, except for sun, you can do a remedy of moon. And it will make sure that it does not only strengthen moon, but it will strengthen each and every planet also. So this is another thing with respect to moon. Moon is second in power only to sun. That also means that if there are two planets who are equally powerful, right? Say there are two more planets with moon. Who are equally powerful as moon. You say moon is also Vargottam and moon is with Saturn and Mars and they are also Vargottam and they are influencing a particular house and you are confused in deciding which planet is the most powerful one because the result, the basic result that you are, you have to predict, you have to predict it based on the most powerful planet only. And whenever there is a confusion in deciding the strength of the planet, this natural source of strength, this natural strength should be considered. So, Except for sun, moon is powerful as compared to any other planet. So if two planets have equal strength or more than two planets have equal strength and one of that is moon, then except for sun, moon will be more powerful as compared to any other planets, right? In the Lokas, moon indicate Pitru Lokas or, or the world of ancestors. So if the stronger between sun and moon is situated in Cancer D3, it will indicate that one have came from the world of ancestors. That means that the person is born in the same family in which he was he was born before. That means the person is an incarnation in the same family. Some ancestor have incarnated in the same family to realize or fulfill the karma that was in the mind of the native, but he could not do in previous life. From the most powerful planet in the seventh, eighth, and ninth, uh, sorry, sixth, seventh, and eighth house, as per the D3 occupied by the most powerful planet in sixth, seventh, and eighth house, one should decide the loka, one will go after death. If the most powerful planet in the 6th, 7th and 8th house is situated in Cancer D3, it means that after death, one will go to the world of ancestors, which in predictions also imply that in this life, person will be very much attached to his family members. And in his last time, he will have many unfulfilled desires and many unfulfilled desires with respect to his family, which will force him to go to the world of ancestors and be born in the same family again. Specifically, when moon is between the 20 degrees to 30 degrees in any sign, moon is very powerful. This power of planet is generally used in, you know, deciding the level of influence. For example, whenever two, three planets are conjointly influencing a singular house, then you will have to see which planet is the most powerful one. And the influence of the most powerful planet is what is actually going to work. Apart from that, situated in female Rashi, Taurus, Cancer, Virgo, Scorpio, Capricorn and Pisces also gives strength to moon. In Shukla Paksh, in bright fortnight, moon is generally powerful, but you have to keep in mind, in bright fortnight also from Shukla Pratipada up to Shukla Panchami, moon is not very powerful. From Shukla Shashti up to Purnima, moon is very, very powerful. Right? For night birth people, in the first part of night, if you, if you divide the night into three parts in the first part of night, that means if the Sun is situated in the 7th house, 5th house or 6th house in the horoscope. Then also it gives strength to sun. Right? So that have to be kept in mind. Sun is a head rising, uh, sorry, Saturn, uh, moon is an head rising planet which indicates that any result indicated by moon, result of houses owned by moon, result of yogas, signified by moon, yoga is created by moon, generally starts impacting from quite early in life and remains active till the middle ages, right? Apart from that, moon indicate reptiles, right? So when moon is afflicted in horoscope, you see, regarding this, if the dasha, antar dasha of a bad moon is coming, reptiles can disturb the native. 
if the moon is marak or if the moon is connected to marak house then because of reptiles poison of reptiles attack of reptiles can create problems to the native right if moon is creating problem anyway reptiles can also create the problems in the life of the native right taking care of reptiles feeding reptiles etc these things are not classical remedies as such so that i am not recommending but for prediction purpose it have to be used right moon in prashna generally indicates 70 years of age so when moon is connected to the prashna ascendant either the questioner is around 70 years of age or the question is pertaining to old age of the native the person is asking the question because he is worried about his old age right the worry can be as such that if this thing is not this not solved right now what i will do in my old age etc it also indicates that by the age of 70 all the results of moon happen in the life of the native and after the age of 70 the results of the moon either starts repeating or the results of the moon are almost over from the life of the native so for example you say if moon is the seventh lord then in that scenario you can say if the moon is the seventh lord and or if the moon is the only planet who is indicating the result of the seventh house then you can say by confidence that the happiness or the company of the life partner is only up to the age of 70 not after that apart from this moon also indicates roots and metals so you know planting trees related to moon taking care of trees related to moon wearing metal related to moon is a very good remedy for moon and most importantly if you, you want to donate something for moon as a remedy donation of metals related to moon or a donation of fruit products related to moon white food products right white tree products white vegetables white fruits donation of that will be very beneficial for moon donation of white metal will be very beneficial for moon because moon indicates roots and metals using these things roots and metals donating these things roots and metals will make the remedy of moon more effective and will make sure that the remedy works the more efficient remedy works quickly moon have a even glance that is looking straight forward so as i have explained to you before also that moon have aspect over 7th house now suppose in the 7th to moon three planets are situated there one is situated between 0 degree to 10 degree second is between 10 degree to 20 degree third is between 20 degree to 30 degree though moon is influencing all the three planets but one planet will be influenced more by moon one planets will be influenced less by moon now because moon is having an even aspect or frontal side the planet in any rashi situated between 0 degree to 20 degree if they are getting influenced by moon they will be maximum influenced by moon as compared to other planets situated anywhere else in the rashi right so this is something that you have to understand apart from that moon also indicates wandering tendencies if the moon is very powerful or if the moon is connected to lagna or if the moon is in moon is connected to moon itself that means if the moon is in cancer rashi or cancer navamsh then one will have wandering tendencies then one will have wandering and traveling habits and by traveling or wandering and roaming one will activate moon also activate the results of moon so activating the results of moon if the moon is positive then it will be good for the native if the moon is negative then it will be negative it will be bad for the native right for example you say if moon is the sixth house lord then wandering and traveling will give enmity and competition to the native while traveling while wandering while visiting places one should be careful of enmity and fights right so regard this way the prediction should be made moon in horoscope should be analyzed to see the character of heart how the person is internally what how, what type of heart the person is having right this is the emotional heart right this should be analyzed from moon the level of understanding of the native how much understanding the native is should also be analyzed from moon any royal favor if the person is getting or not getting whether the person is getting government job gaining from government or not should be judged from moon mother should be seen from moon affluence welfare of mother should be seen from moon mental tranquility should be seen from moon whether one is going to take bath in a sea or not is seen by moon taking bath in sea also a good remedy for moon right tenderness is seen by moon flowers are indicated by moon so donation of flowers giving flowers activates moon corn agriculture is indicated by moon so if the moon is connected to profession houses it can also indicate that one can 
be into agriculture or one should be in agriculture moon indicates fame also so a strong moon will make you famous as well right sweets sweet substances sweet things are also indicated by moon so to strengthen moon one can consume sweet also for moon sweets can be donated as well Milk and milk products are also indicated by moon. All type of clothes are also indicated by moon. Cows and women are also indicated by moon. Good tasty food is also indicated by moon. Bodily health is indicated by moon. And beauty is also indicated by moon. So if the moon is powerful, one will be beautiful. right? Or one will gain beauty in life. So if the moon is powerful, one will have a beautiful family, beautiful spouse, beautiful home, beautiful vehicle, etc. In houses, moon is the significator of the fourth house. Right? So, because moon is the significator of the fourth house, while judging the results of the fourth house, you will have to check moon also. If moon is good, if moon is powerful, 50% result of the fourth house will be there. So, 50% of the result of fourth house will be there means fourth house indicates home person will have a home to live. Either he will live in his father's property or he will get married to a life partner who have quite some properties. Right? At least 50%, like the person can gain a property or not, that is another thing. But person will have a property which he can use, right? Because it comes from the fourth house. When moon is powerful, he will give at least 50% strength of the fourth house, right? So this is to be understood. Now, Generally, when the moon is connected to Jupiter or Mercury, moon gives their result to Jupiter Mercury. Or you say the result of moon is also given by Jupiter Mercury. This is very useful with respect to the Shantar Dasha. For example, if moon is the seventh lord or if moon is connected to seventh house, basically he should indicate marriage. But moon distributes its result to Jupiter Mercury also. Right. So if moon is connected to Jupiter Mercury anyway by being expected by them, situated with them, or by being situated in their Rashis, then in that particular scenario, the result of moon will also be given by Jupiter Mercury and this should be used positively in the prediction of Dasha Antar Dasha results also. Many a time my students ask me that sir, how you predicted this particular thing in this Dasha despite the fact that this planet is not indicating the event by this transference of result that I have just explained to you, these predictions are to be made. Generally, when the moon is situated in Cancer or Taurus Rashi on Mondays, in Cancer D3, in Cancer Hora, in Cancer Navamsh, in the end of Rashi between the 20 degree to 30 degree in any Rashi, in the fourth house, or when the moon is influenced by beneficial planets Jupiter, Venus, Mercury, when the moon is situated in fourth house, or when the moon is expected by or influenced by all the planets or all the powerful planets that I told you before, then moon is powerful. And because moon is king, if the moon is powerful, one person is royal. The person is royal, right? So he is like a king. He lives like a king. But one have to understand that moon in Aries, uh, sorry, moon in Ashwani, Ashwani Nakshatra, Revati Nakshatra, Magha Nakshatra, Aslesha Nakshatra, Jeshta Nakshatra, and Mula Nakshatra is considered a weak moon. If you are having a weak moon, then these strength factors that I have just told you, your moon should have at least two of these strength factors for the moon to be powerful. Otherwise, moon will be extremely weak. And if moon becomes weak, Chandrama, Nikhil, Graha, Viryu, moon is the strength of all the planets. And if moon becomes weak, all other planets in the horoscope will also become weak, which will result in the native living a mediocre life or an unfortunate life because moon indicates fortune also. Right, so one needs a strength than moon. Now, most important thing is that when moon is in the Rashi of sun, then generally moon is barren of results, ineffective of results. So when moon is with sun, it cannot produce his result. For example, I remember the horoscope of Ramakrishna Paramahans. He is having sixth lord moon in the ascendant, which means that he should have much enmity, much competition in his life. But if you see Ramakrishna Paramahans had no enmity or competition as such. Why? Because his moon is with sun and because moon is with sun, moon becomes barren of result, ineffective of result. So the result of sixth lord and ascendant giving much enmity and competition to the native is negligible or disappeared in the horoscope. Right? So this is to be used this particular way. When moon is with sun, moon is ineffective. Right? Generally ineffective, largely ineffective. 
the bad results in horoscope indicated by rahu mars saturn mercury venus and jupiter can be tackled by moon so as i told you before if all of these planets are problematic or trouble causing in the horoscope or in the dasha then rather than doing the remedy of all of these planets one by one which will be very cumbersome and time taking just doing the remedy of moon will be very very beneficial venereal diseases jaundice inflammation of nose and problems through females by the association of female enmity with female allegations from female or problems because of engaging in much sexuality with females etc is indicated by moon generally when moon is connected to sixth house when moon is bad or afflicted then in the dashantar dasha of moon or when the moon is connected to sixth house then generally the diseases of diseases of moon are felt by the native and these are the diseases that moon indicates apart from the places mentioned before places near the temple of parvati or any beneficial goddess spots which are places which are already being occupied by women or places where women meet kitty parties etc places with water places where many plants small plants are there places where herbs are being cultivated places where honey or lacquer is kept are the places that are indicated by moon so when you are to do when you are wanting to do remedy related to moon it is better to do the remedy at these places if moon is indicating the place where you are going to meet your life partner or where you are going to have your office then your office will be nearby these places if moon is indicating your life partner that means if the seventh lord is in the rashi of moon then you are going to meet your life partner at these places right so this way this particular prediction should be done people who worship lord kartikeya murugan females washermen cultivators aquatic animals hare she horse antelope crane what is called saras and green pedridge these animals and people are indicated by moon so when you have to do remedies related to moon when you want to do donations related to moon better to give donation to these people or these animals apart from that if something is signified by moon then the thing will be realized by the help of or by the support of these animals or these humans this is specifically useful in prashna but is useful in natal chart also for example if moon is connected to seventh house then a female will lead you to your life partner a female will tell you about your life partner or a female will blow a female will play major role in getting you in relationship getting you married etc for people born in night time moon indicates mother for people born in day time moon indicate maternal uncles and aunts and moon indicates left eye also so if the moon is afflicted in the dashantar dasha of moon problems related to left eye and area nearby left eye can happen and if the moon is uh, malefically if the moon is afflicted loss of eyesight can also happen if the moon is connected to sixth house problems related to left eye can also happen right the sense of taste is also signified by moon and when generally moon is weak the sense of taste can be lost or when the moon is afflicted then it often happens that one is not able to enjoy tasty food despite all the hard work so this is another prediction that is to be made moon also signifies rice so donation of rice consumption of rice will activate moon will strengthen moon apart from that the left side of the head is also indicated by moon and generally when the moon is very prominent in horoscope you will see that left left side of the head is having some birth marks which is also indicative that the moon is connected to the ascendant of native if the left side of head is not having any specific mark right from the front all up to the back not having any special mark then it means moon is not connected to the ascendant this can be used for rectification as well when the dasha of the moon will be activated then also the left side of the head will have either you see some problem migraine etc or some marks temporary marks such as boils pimples etc will be there which will remain there throughout the period which is indicative of the fact that moon is active regarding trees because i told you for moon planting trees or spending time with trees indicated by moon is also very very beneficial so creepy plants sappy and blossoming trees herbs 
Milky trees or rubber yielding plants are indicated by moon planting them, taking care of them or donating products that is found by them or offering flowers or fruits of such trees to deity, to deity or God is a very strong remedy for moon that you can do which will strengthen your moon also. Up to 0 to 3 degrees in Taurus Rashi moon is exalted and from 3 degree onwards up to the 30 degree in Taurus Rashi moon is in Multricon in Multricon position. So in complete of Taurus moon is very beneficial, very powerful. Right? In the 10 incarnations of Sri Vishnu, moon indicate Krishna. So worshipping Lord Krishna, going to his places, Vrindavan, Mathura, Dwarka, etc. is also a very good remedy for moon. Right? So these are all the things that are signified by moon. And you should use, first of all, you should note these significations and then you should use them to making predictions, which will make sure that you make better predictions as compared to 80%, 90% of the astrologers in the world. Because what I have found that many astrologers, because they don't know these significations, their predictions are incomplete or not up to the mark. And also these significations you can use to remedy the moon, which will strengthen your moon and will also make your moon positive. Right? So use the information given with the best of your capacity and get benefited from it, right? Thank you for watching.